There is a beautiful symmetry to music and in this mini series of lessons we're going to take a look at three examples that you really need to know about. To do this we're going to see how you can split an octave into two, three or four equal parts and then consider the intervals and chords that this creates. In this first session, we're going to think about splitting the octave evenly into two. Working on string number one, the E string. Now, an octave is 12 frets, the octave being the 12th fret double dot. So if I split that into two, 12 divided by two is six. So I'm essentially splitting the octave in two when I play this note in the sixth fret. This interval of six frets is three whole steps, the tri tone and yes it has that characteristic tension to it this longing to be resolved and it is the characteristic sound of the dominant seventh the thing is this tension can resolve in two directions we can go there or alternatively we could also do this So think about that in some context. This first example would be found in, that's the D shape of the F sharp seven. So this tritone here is the flat seven and three of that chord would be E and A sharp. That, if that's the five, five, four, three, two, one, it wants to resolve to the note of B, the B major chord, five, one. Interesting to know that you can also resolve a dominant seventh to a minor chord. So this could also resolve to a B minor. You can see that also in a minor key. So that's the first possibility. The alternative is to think about this tritone as part of this chord. Now this is a C7. I think of it in the G shape, rooted upon string six. So this is then the three and the flat seven of that chord. C da, 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 wants to resolve to F. So C seven resolves to F. You can hear that resolution. And again, that C seven could also resolve to an F minor just as easily. In summary then, and perhaps the easiest way to think about this is that the tritone will resolve to a major or minor chord whose root is a half step above either of the two notes of the tritone. So if it's in a dominant seventh, the tritone can be found in the major scale. If we consider the C major scale, the tritone occurs between the fourth and the seventh degrees of the major scale, in this case, the F and the B. There it is. And this goes a long way in explaining the tension resolution of the tritone, because the fourth and the seventh major scale degrees are where we find the half steps away from the chord tones of the one chord. The F and the B are a half step from the E, the third, and the C, the root of the tonic chord, the C major triad. Alternatively, you could think of it as between the B and the F, because this inverts perfectly because it's an equal distance. The tritone then is the root flat five of a B diminished chord, a B diminished arpeggio, which you probably will have learned already. That chord. And it gets its name, the diminished triad, from this interval of a diminished fifth. B to F sharp is a perfect fifth. B to F is a diminished fifth. When you flatten a perfect interval, it becomes diminished. Perfect fifth to diminished fifth of the diminished triad. Alternatively, this is the third and the flat seven of a G7 chord. G7 arpeggio, three and seven. Let's raise that the octave. There's the root, G7. And this, to our ears, wants to resolve to C, five to one. So in this particular position in the third fret, this is the flat seven and the three. But if I take this up a tritone, one, two, three tones or whole steps, then I have 
those same notes, but inverted, it's the same shape, right? This is B and F, the three flat seven of this. The G seven in the C shape under cage. And I can take that down into the third fret for a C seven rooted on the third. You probably know that shape already from the open position C seven. I can take that a whole step for a D seven. And with that G7, I then have the one, four, five for a blues in the key of G. But what's special about the tritone is that you can even play through a blues without the root notes. This tritone is what's considered a shell voicing. It is giving you the key chord tones of the dominant seventh, namely the third for that major sound and the flat seven for that bluesy dominant sound. So you can go through a blues progression with just the tritone. And then here comes the fourth chord. You can hear it, right? Five. Cool. So knowing the shape of the tritone is huge in a blues context. Firstly, for being able to hit those sweet notes, those chord tones in your soloing, but also then to be forming and getting a deeper understanding of the seventh chords. This tritone shape on the fretboard is also the foundation for some more expensive chords, shall we say. So something like this being a G7 sharp 5 or maybe this being a G7 flat 9. We'll come back to that one later. On the circle of fifth the tritone notes sit directly opposite one another. See B at 5 o'clock you'll find the F opposite at the 11 o'clock position and that works for all of the tritones. How the notes of the tritone are labelled will depend on the context how it is being used. We saw earlier that F to B was considered a diminished fifth of root to a flat 5 but F to B, when you invert it, will be considered an augmented fourth, or sharp four, or sharp eleven, something like you will hear in the F Lydian mode. In that way, the tritone also plays a part in the signature sound of each of the major scale modes, but that's for another day. Now to practice this and start implementing a couple of these ideas, you want to be nice and confident with the shape of the tritone, remembering that it will be the same shape across the string sets with the exception of strings three and two, which always differs by that one fret. So if I take this B and F across the string sets, it's the same shape going through the inversions, but as I hit strings three and two, we have that frets gap, but that gets closed again on strings one and two. Once you've learned the shapes, play one again and consider which dominant seventh chord that is coming from. So if I play one just right here, I'm thinking, well, that is part of either the E7 chord resolving to the A or indeed also A minor. Alternatively, I see this, I'm thinking it's part of a B flat seven, which will be resolving to flat chord alternatively the E flat minor chord. Also have a try working through a blues progression using the tritone. I've got lesson notes and a backing track available to all members of my Patreon group. You can help support the channel and find out more about that with the link down below. Okay, click here for part two or down here if you want to find out more about the tritone, the circle of fifths and major scale modes.